Hi everyone, Joe for Jeff's piece, uh, CaseBreaks.com with the 27 box pre NFL draft football mixer with four big giveaways. Now, I, apparently, we don't have these give. They're still being shipped to us. We're gonna get them next week, but we got a Joe Burrow helmet we're giving away in this, a Tua helmet, CD Lamb autographed jersey, and a and a Henry Ruggs helmet. So that's pretty cool. Here's what the mixer includes: a lot of stuff. This is gonna this is gonna take a minute or two, so uh, so get settled in. I'll try to keep hits separated so we can try to do a some some kind of uh, recap at the very end of uh, relics and of autographs, maybe mostly autographs probably. Big thanks to all of these folks for getting into the action. Really appreciate it. Ron, you get you have the official last spot mojo, and everybody else. Congrats to you. You won spots in the uh, in those little pack breaks. All 32 teams are in. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Ten times each. Six and a four. And the giveaways will be a separate dice roll at the very end of the break with anything else we need to randomize. Two, three, four, five, six, And 10th and final time. After 10, we've got William down to Nick. Six and a four, 10 times for the teams. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And 10th and final time. After 10. We've got the Tennessee Titans down to the Carolina Panthers. All right. So William with the Titans, Asa with the Cowboys, William Fulmer with the Broncos, Trevor with the Eagles, Jose, you have the Bears, Bradley with the Jaguars, Anthony, Chiefs, Jared, Dolphins, Joe, Joe L. with the Niners, Dom with the Ravens, Daniel with the Browns, EO with the Jets, Robert with the Bills, Kevin with the Colts, Bradley with the Packers, Mike McCarthy with the Redskins, Ron with the Seahawks, Last Spot Mojo, Star next to his name, Charles with the Steelers, Sean with the Vikings, Stephen K. with the Pats, JC, you have the Saints, Josh with the Lions, Brooks with the Falcon, Charles, uh, Chargers, the X-Line with the Texans, Ryan with the Rams, uh, Cheel with the... Uh, Giants, Sean with the Buccaneers, Travis with the Cardinals, Sean with the Bengals, Brian with my Raiders, Nick T with the Carolina Panthers. All right, so I'm going to put this all on one screen here. Let's sort by column B, and I'm going to pause the video really quick. Well, actually, not right now. Let me show you all the boxes first. So so we got we got, we have a lot going on here. So we've got all these boxes plus tons hidden away back there. So be, at, as you're thinking about trades, you know, keep the trade, uh, keep the different years of these boxes in mind. And I'll show you the list of boxes again. And trade at your own risk, really. Let me flip back to this screen right here. And once again, there are the different uh, boxes there. So we go all the way back to like 2011, all the way to current stuff. All right, so there you go. Let me pause the video. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades, and then we'll have the break. Stick around, BRB. All right, welcome back, folks. As you see, there were a couple trades. So the first trade involves uh, Ron and William Fulmer. So Ron is out of the Seahawks spot and into the Denver spot. And William gets his uh, Seahawks right there. So let's put T next to there for trade so you know that you traded those. Miami and Detroit were traded. So let's put another T there for trade. So Jared now has a Lions. Josh is out of the Lions spot and into the... Miami spot right there. So if you're following along at home, you can keep track of those little uh, T's next to their names so you know who draws first blood in the uh, in the trade, if any. 
Maybe it, maybe there won't be. I mean, I don't know. Size of this mixer it should be. It should be blood drawn. Good luck, everybody. All right. Good luck, everybody. Wait, Ron, are you walking back the Seahawks trade? Speak now or forever hold your peace. Trade windows closed, though, man. I mean, I'd rather have you keep it. You got the you got the whole break on hold, Ron. You'll keep Broncos. Okay, thank you. All right, let's go. 27 box pre-draft, pre-NFL draft football mixer, ladies and gentlemen. Good luck everybody. There's the official printout right there. And here we go. I don't know where to start. I guess I'll just start here. Go to places any. I'm just going to kind of bounce all over the place. 2013 Panini Contenders Football featuring these guys here. Five autographs per box. Yeah, it is a large mountain of boxes. This is going to take a number of hours, ladies and gentlemen. So, so if you're not in this, Jason will be on soon for Instagram breaks, personal breaks, so you can spend some time with him. Or you can hang out and watch this if you want to. Right, draft coming up, what, a couple days? 23rd, right? That's, that's the, I think that's one of the closest, closest I feel like we're getting to some kind of live sporting event in a, in a, in a long time. So I'm looking forward to it. Shout out your team and let me know what, uh, what you're, in like a quick sentence, what you're hoping that they're going to accomplish in the draft. Most of you know I'm a Raiders fan. And I'm hoping they they get... I forgot that they didn't have a second round pick. I was just reminded of that last week. So I think... But they have two firsts. Um, I'd like to see them go defense and then a wide receiver. In the first round. And then just really just go defense and then <laughs> after that... Raiders need that, need the, uh, need help at all facets of the game. Joe, Joe Poppy says, Redskins just don't screw it up. Juan Hernandez saying, Hawks O-line. Lions, a new team, says Tyler. Charles Packers, they need another weapon for Aaron to throw to. Yeah, haven't the Seahawks been talking offensive line for, like, years? Maybe this is the year. This is the year they'll finally do it. There's C.J. Anderson, rookie auto. That is for Ron, who draws first blood in that train. Train? Trade. There's Mike Glennon for the Buccaneers. On-card auto for Tampa Bay. That's going to go to Sean, Sean W., Ron's a Saints fan linebacker, he says. <laughs> Keegan Texans GM. Hoping they can draft a GM. Bears a tight end, says Kyle. No, Bears fan Stephen Punk, Kyle, says that uh, Jimmy Graham's enough. Mitch, uh, sorry, Nick Foles and Mitch Trubisky in open competition. Plus Jimmy Graham, 12 wins, he says. Vikings, says J-Dog, also needs an O-line. Also, folks, as I'm breezing through this, there's a chance I may miss a parallel or something like that. So, so just keep that in mind. But everything, 
that needs to ship will ship. Two out of twenty one. We've got I don't I don't remember this. I don't remember Kenny Vaccaro at all. But there's Kenny Vaccaro for the Saints. That's gonna go to JC. I know that's I guess there's really no point in holding on to that. There's Bryce Butler, old Raider. I remember him. Going to Brian Croft and the Oakland Raiders. Soon to be Las Vegas Raiders. There's Dion Jordan. I guess we'll still send these to you. I know Panini just announced, recently announced kind of disappointingly that they're going to not be as kind with expired redemptions. That's Dolphins. Your pen. But Dolphins, that's Josh. We'll still send it to you. And maybe you can get lucky putting it through the system. That is the risk with some of these whenever we dig into some of these older products. I think in the last couple years, two, three years, we're still good. Those redemptions aren't close to expiring just yet. All right, there you go. But it is a risk with some of these older products, so keep that in mind. All right, um, let's let's just do this select right here, which is right in front of me. Let's try to open up some space in the middle right here. Now I know this is a football break, but it's gonna it's gonna take a little bit of time. We can talk about some other stuff too. Did everyone watch? This is what everyone's talking about lately. The Last Dance. The Michael Jordan Chicago Bulls, late 90s Chicago Bulls story. First two episodes were last Sunday. I think they're doing two two episodes every Sunday for the next four or five weeks. What did everyone think? I thought it was good. I thought it was pretty... Uh, I thought it was pretty entertaining. Just crazy to think about how different basketball looked back then, just not in terms just in terms of well not only just style, uniforms, you know, like the way it was televised, the way it was the way it was covered. You know. So it's a good trip down memory lane for a lot of people, I'm sure. All right, next we've got Jeremy Cash for the Panthers. That's going to be for Nick T. Yeah, what's up, Jason? I guess, yeah, that's true. Joe Drobeck said, better question is, who didn't watch it? Yeah, did anyone not watch it, I guess? Let's start from there. There's Sterling Shepard Relic for the Giants. That goes to Kessler. There's Joe Hayden to 149. These tricolors, not numbered, but they will ship. Oh, Sean hasn't. Get some dust out of here. Sean ha hasn't yet. Just Sean was too busy. Uh, it's too busy out and about on the town spreading the COVID, I guess. Or catching the COVID. Either way. Out of 75, there's Jason Pierre, Paul die cut. Yeah, what what are some of the... I mean, let's open it up to in a, in a broad sort of sense. Oh, this is 2016. There's Dak da Prescott. Rookie card for the Cowboys. Asa. Rookie silver. Out of select. Yeah, I guess K Kyle B, there's a good place to start. Um, what, what was like something that kind of surprised you or that, that you, that something new that you learned out of there? Maybe, maybe if you're young enough, maybe it's all new. There's Cody Kessler. 
for the Browns. That's going to go to Daniel Hayes. Yeah, was there anything, any any takeaways from them? Kyle B never realized how much Jerry Kra how hated Jerry Cross was in there. So that'll go to. Oh, Q, who was the QB one in the 2017 NFL Draft? The first QB taken, 2017 NFL Draft. What year was it? That was the that was the Trubisky year. That goes to the first QB taken in 2017. Was uh, going to Jose Lopez and the Bears. He did. Little uh, post-it note here. Bears' his favorite favorite year. All right, next one. Oh, you're saving them up, Sean. Oh, so Sean, you're saving them and just watching them, watching like ten all at once, back to back to back to back to back. That's the way to do it. It's hard. It might be hard to get through the the next few weeks without spoilers, though. I mean, I guess it's already happened, so there's really no spoilers. Oh, the the hotel room story shocked you about all the uh, about all the illicit drugs being taken by those players. Yeah, it was the eighties, man. Kyle, mid eighties. Lot of lot of uh, freshly ground snow in those hotel rooms. Wait, are they not honoring Sam saying they're not going to honor these as well? These draft cards, are these considered redemption? I guess they are redemptions too, huh? That's a shame. There's Deshaun Watson, rookie Deshaun Watson. Um, I'm hoping that Panini will, will turn around on that. So we'll still send them. The X line with the Texans. Is Todd Gurley. There's Amara Darbo, rookie stallion relic for the Seahawks. That's going to go to William. There's Taiwan Taylor. Autograph for the Titans. I know there's green foil on there, but no, no number. That'll be for William in Tennessee. Let's jump to some luminous. We'll, we'll kind of be jumping around here a little bit. That's a good question, Kyle B. Wonder how former teammates reacted when watching with their families. They're like, <laughs> some son or daughter's just like, wait, Dad, weren't weren't you on that 1984 Chicago Bulls team? Were you in that hotel room? <laughs> no, no, no. Definitely, definitely not. There's uh, Jeffrey Simmons to 349. I forgot where, where he ended up.
Try to save as many of these numbered cards as possible. Set those aside. There's Bryce Love for the Redskins. Mike McCarthy with the Skins. That's a $2.99. And there's, oh, nice. These are nice. Michael Hartman Jr. Silver ink autograph on that nice luminance card. These are the, those draft day signatures are really nice. Chiefs, Anthony Pickett with the Chiefs. That's to 49. For the Titans, we got Mariota Relic for William. Okay, um, let's, uh, let's get this kind of bulky certified box out of the way. I think next week's uh, Rod Dennis Rodman episode should be really should be really fun to watch. Michael Jordan's, I mean, we haven't seen all the episodes yet, but Michael Jordan in an interview, recent interview, was saying he thought he was going to look bad after all this. So far, I don't really think so. I think he lives up to the, to that intense Michael Jordan that we always heard that he was. This is some certified coming at you. And there's there's my boy Hunter Renfro, silver and black patch to $4.99. That goes to the Raiders, Brian Croft. Solid, uh, solid freshman year for him. Hopefully he can keep, keep growing. That's what I'm hoping for my Raiders. I just want, like, I don't need superstars just yet. I just want a solid team. Josh Jacobs, there you go, more Raiders. 51 out of 99, Raiders box for Brian Croft, who has my Raiders. I'm hoping no sophomore slump for him. Just step by step. Darius Slayton for the Giants. That'll be for Kessler. Jason Taylor uh, out of 35. The contract thing, I didn't remember either, Joe Poppy. That's, an, that's another good point out of that Last Dance documentary, Scotty Pippen's contract. Um, I was watching, I watched, I don't know if some of you kept watching Scott Van Pelt after that, but he was saying, so from the documentary it said, there's Terry McLaurin, scary Terry to 199, that Scotty Pippen was the 122nd highest paid player now, there's probably a better way to say that, but but for what some argue to be a, you know, what was he, top top ten player in the league, at the you know in his prime, top twenty player in the league in his prime, you know, great defender as well, a big man who connect who who moved could, who had handles as well, so he was paid. He was the 122nd highest paid player in the league. And Scott Van Pelt made the point that you know who the you know who the current 122nd highest paid player in the league is right now? I think it was Andre Roberson. <laughs> so, I mean obviously the, the the dollar figures are different these days, but for just a relative comparison, think of think of a player as good as Scottie Pippen if you if you remember him. And think of him being paid as paid like Andre Roberson today. I mean, what's a good com what's a good comparison today? Scottie Pippen. Who's who's a player today that's like a Scottie Pippen?
Yeah, Scotty Pippen also didn't do didn't do that surgery, which Jordan on in the last dance said was was selfish. Oh, you think they might regret how mean they were to Jerry? I don't know. I don't think they'll regret that. I think they they all a lot of guys hated that guy. J Dog saying what? Scotty Pippen kind of like PG thirteen. All right, I can kind of I can try to I can kind of visualize that. Here's Keenan Allen to ninety nine. Montez Sweat to 199. Raquel Armstead to 15. Yeah, 15 out of 15 for the Jags. That'll go to Bradley. Josh Allen to 299. Russell Wilson to 75. Michael Hardman to 49. Another one. Looks like the piece of his glove there. Rising Rookie Auto, another one for Anthony Pickett and the Chiefs. Josh Jacobs, 99. Yeah, a ton of parallels in this. Kyler Murray to 199. Travis Donahue got randomized the Cardinals in this one. Good random. Jarvis Landry. Devontae Adams to 199. Hunter Renfro. Twenty out of one hundred. Oakland Raiders. Brian Croft. Peyton Manning to two ninety nine. Joe Drobeck saying maybe, maybe Kawhi a little like Scotty too. Yeah, Scotty Pippen played defense too. I think that was the other kind of big thing. He was a good defender as well. There's Matt Ryan. That part I forgot. All right, let's go back in time to uh, maybe 2011 Platinum, Tops Platinum football. Let's see if we find in here. Oh, yeah, these were the days. Do that. All right. I think there, from the last dance, I think there was a little, a little romanticization of the past, as tends to happen with these sorts of things. People romanticize how, I mean, there, there were, the, the quality of basketball, I don't know, it's, it's different. I, I can't say that it's better today. There's some things that are better today. Some, but you think maybe, I don't think the sixth player, on average, on a basketball team, has to be better than the sixth player back in the 90s, 80s and 90s. I don't, know, I th I don't think the idea of, and everyone was kind of, well, it's hard to compare. I think everyone was locked into the sort of positions too. That sort of quote-unquote positionless basketball um, idea it didn't really hold true in the 80s and 90s but now you have now now you have like seven footers shooting threes and and handling like guards these days that's wild Does Muggsy Bogues make it today? I'm surprised he made it back then. I feel like in this in this era, this would suit Muggsy Bogues quite well. But in the physicality that Jared's talking about, that in the league that was so physical back then, I'm surprised he made it back then. There's Ryan Mallett. Remember him?
Yeah, and that I think that's what I'm struggling with, Sean. It's like there was more physicality, but the athleticism was not necessarily the same as it was. You know, seven footers weren't handling the ball like like guards, like they do these days. There's Raheem Moore to one thousand that goes to Ron. Oh, that guy's certified. Don't be that guy. You don't think you've seen a Niners card yet? Let me just remind you how many boxes we have we have left here before we start worrying about seeing cards. <laughs> Got a long way to go. We're <laughs> there. Boom. Michael Crabtree Niners. Got a long way to go. Ryan Mallet die cut. True, and, and see, and that's the other thing. It's hard to compare these eras because so much has changed. Jared, Jared Phillip does make a good point too. But you couldn't be soft and make it back then. You could be a little softer these days because that physicality isn't there anymore. So, Justin Houston to fourteen fifty. That'll be for KC. That's for Anthony. Um, other thing I read, a lot of, a lot of low-scoring games. I don't know if that's because just the pace of the game, I guess, but a lot of low-scoring games. There's Dion Lewis, Eagles. Three-color patch and autograph. That's rookie edition for Trevor and the Fly Eagles Fly. And there's a rookie Kaepernick to 49 for what it's worth. All right, I kind of want to make make a little space for myself here. So let's work on this area here. Let's get this prime going here. 2013 Topps Prime Football. Sean saying, oh, Rodman, Lambeer wouldn't be able to stay on the court nowadays between fouls and suspensions. I don't know much about Lambeer, but I feel like Dennis Rodman, I think, feels like a, a smarter basketball player than maybe we give him credit for. I think he would have been able to adjust to, I think he would have been able to adjust to this league. I could see Rodman kind of a... Kind of a Draymond type, I think. I think if Rodman grew up in this era, I think if you time travel Dennis Rodman from the '90s to today, yeah, maybe maybe he would not be able to make that adjustment pretty quickly. But if Rodman was born like 30 years later or whatever, I, th I think he would have been able to to make an adjustment to the league. Maybe if he took prime Rodman and put him in the league, I feel like he could have done it. There might be a, an adjustment period. He's like, I can't do what now? <laughs> but I don't know. I mean, there's the 170, Joseph Rand. Could he keep up with, like, players of today? So, I don't know. It's, I, I mean, it's it's an interesting debate. Would he still wear a dress in this era? I think he would. In fact, I think that'd be probably more acceptable today than it was back then. There's Haloti uh, Nada, 43 out of 200. Triple Relic and Autograph for the Ravens. Dominic with the Ravens. I think if you wore a dress today, Mac McCarthy, I don't think it would be nearly as controversial. There's Tavon Austin to 165. That's Golden Tate. Nice. Uh, 60, I couldn't find the number. 60 out of 150. 
Nice one for William and the Seahawks. Numbered? No, it's just gold foil. Oh, I see what you're saying, yeah. So since that wouldn't be as controversial now, maybe he wouldn't wear a dress. Dennis Rodman would figure out something else. Yeah, he probably would. No doubt about it. Myself a little space here. All right, this is XR. There's Dalvin Cook to 99, and Calvin Harmon to 249. There's Josh Jacobs. Nice. Luminous endorsements autograph. Three out of 49. Nice break for my Raiders. Brian Croft. And there's XL materials to 25. Dwayne Haskins. That's for Mike McCarthy. Nice. Cup sold out. All right. We'll see the cup in a couple hours. Justice Hill, jersey and autograph for the Ravens. Dom with the Ravens. Set these hits aside here for the recap. All right, let's, let's work on some stuff off to the, now that I have some space here, to the right of the camera. I think you can see this Nick cam above my head will keep track of the boxes on the side here. All right, now let's go to mini, remember mini chrome 2014? These mini guys. context. Also, um, there was that State Farm commercial with Kenny Maine. Do you guys see that during the during the live broadcast of The Last Dance? It was pretty amusing. I have to admit that it got me. I was like, "Huh? Did Kenny Maine really say that back then?" And then and I was like, "Oh, I get it. I get it. All right, State Farm. All right, I see you." I don't know what Kenny Maine is doing. is doing these days. Is he still on ESPN? Yeah, still a sports journalist for ESPN. Currently hosts 
Main, Kenny Main's wider world of sports on ESPN.com. And a weekly contributor to Sunday Countdown and his weekly main event segment. Yeah, that got you too, Jared. Yeah, that that definitely got me. I was like, huh. Because I think the idea of the last dance, Phil Jackson had already mentioned that. So I was like, oh, okay. So they must have, did they, how did they? So that definitely, that definitely got me. We got Anquan Bolden, some sort of, I don't know what these... Pulsar? Do they still call them that? There you go. Those are those are your size differences right there. And there's David Fails for the Bears. Jose with the Bears. Yeah, they're talking, Mike, Mike McCarthy saying they're talking about extending the shelter in place until mid-May around where he is in Illinois. Will sports come back this year at some point? Yes. question is, which sports? I don't know. It'll, it, it'll be tricky. I think I think if sports does come back this year, I don't think you're going to see fans in the stands, which is going to be weird. And I think that the idea of it's out of fifteen, Antonio Brown, nice. I think the idea of um, of having sports at least sports seasons maybe being contained in a single region or, or an area, I think that's going to gain a little more steam. But I don't know. I mean, you know, things could change pretty quickly, you know, for better or for worse, hopefully for the better. But if everyone keeps doing their part, keeps their hands clean and, you know, stays indoor now, which I know sucks, but if we do our part now, hopefully we can kind of limit this as much as possible to a point where we can have at least live sports, even if it's fanless. I'll take fanless live sports. My first big hit as a kid. No, I don't remember, Jared. I think I started, when I was a kid, probably started a lot like everybody else. I don't know how I started. Someone must have... Yeah. My family's decently into sports. I was, I was always... I always loved sports since I was a kid. So... So I guess... I guess I just must have... Just as a natural extension of enjoying baseball, must have somehow discovered like a pack of baseball cards as a kid. I know my aunt got me a baseball set when I was little. So yeah, I mean, I think I, I think just, it's just become just uh, one of those like lifelong things. There really wasn't like one big card or one big hit that was like, oh yeah, that's it. I think just my love for sports in general extended to just collecting stuff like that. I don't really do it that much any, anymore. I think I have the luxury of, I get to open up 27 boxes of a football for a football card, so that definitely scratches that itch. But if I didn't do this, then I'm sure I'd be just on, just on the other side of the camera like you guys, watching someone open up sports cards. Uh, 
All right. Let's go on to some of this optic. The Brian Burns rookie year. Current rear. Terrell Suggs. Yeah, well, with California, mid-June realistically for people to kind of get out and about. We'll see, yeah. Zanny Dalton to two ninety nine. Fletcher Cox to one fifty. Well, Jared, none of us have lives right now. <laughs> so it's alright. Shouldn't be shouldn't be ashamed about watching a a break that you're not even in. Nice Kyler Murray hollow. Trayvon Mullen Jr. two ninety nine. Here's Kyler again. Michael Thomas Orange. My thoughts on Gronk coming out of retirement? I thought he would. I just didn't think he would be for Tampa Bay. Alright. There you go. David Montgomery, Bears, rated rookie autographs. Doesn't expire until next summer. Not this summer, next summer. Jose with Chicago. Would I be a big player or a small player if I was on the other side of this camera? That's a good point. I think my investment would be commensurate with... with with uh, what I, how much money I made not doing this. Oh, this is wild. This is 2011 Bowman Sterling. We've got one dual relic card here. And then we've got not apple pie boxes, but I don't know, different kind of boxes. A hexagon, but I don't know what to call them. They look like, what do they look like? They look like uh, they look like Y wings. Watch, if you're a Star Wars fan, there it is. Boom. There's a Y wing right there. Just kind of get out these open all at once. What else do they they look they look like the the rubies that you get in Legends of Zelda in Zelda you can get those rubies That's marking that Saints marking room on the front by the way I don't know, going back to what Kyle was asking, I, I thought that Gronk would return. I think Andrew Luck's going to return, too. I thought Brady would go back to New England, and I thought Gronk would join him. That's what I thought. I thought Gronk would take a year off, kind of take a break, relax, I mean, just kind of rest his, rest his body. And then, you know, if it came to a point where he was like, oh, yeah, I still love football. I want to play. I want to do the grind. Yeah, he would just go back to New England with Brady. That just that just didn't happen. Andrew Luck, uh, yeah, Joe Poppy saying Gronk and Luck just need to get healthy. Yeah, I, I think Andrew Luck will take, like, I mean, maybe Andrew Luck will even take this year off, too. I don't know, depending on how the NFL season goes, but... I think once he gets himself right, then I think he's, you know, 
I mean, Andrew Luck is not... He's still pretty young, right? Thirty years old. All right, so I don't know. Turns thirty-one this September. What do we got here? Not sure how this how this break goes. There's Luke Stalker, old tight end for the Buccaneers, William. We got Von Miller, rookie relic, rookie relic for Ron and the Broncos. There's A.J. Hawk for the Packers, Bradley with the pack. Well, see, yeah, exactly. I mean, Mike Tower saying, do you get yourself right to play again or enjoy the rest of your life without pain? See, that I don't know. There's Greg Olson, Jersey, and Otto. But maybe he does get right and says, I miss it. I miss the game. I want to come back. There's A.J. Green, a rookie relic for the Bengals. That's going to be for Sean. And there's Prince uh, Amukamara, rookie relic for the Giants. Kessler with that one. There's Brooks Reed. There's Ahmad Bradshaw, running back for the Giants. That'll be for Kessler. There's Leonard Hankerson, relic for Mike McCarthy. Right, yeah, maybe the, there's going to be some things Sean Corbett's mentioning. Maybe some stuff that changes in the CBC, THC, you know, those, the, those pain-relieving sort of stuff. There's Leonard Hankerson autograph. Maybe those change in the CBA. And that might... That might, you know, sway player a player like Andrew Lu of Andrew Lux caliber to come back maybe for short contract. See how he feels, you know. Says, hey, maybe I'll, I want to give it a shot for a couple of years. See if he can go or not. CBD, that is. Oh, it already did. Oh well, that, if that's the case, oh, that's why Gronk's back then. There's Stephen Ridley. Speaking of the Patriots, nice one for Stephen K. and the Pats. So yeah, maybe 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 that's why. Yeah, that's why he's coming back. I get it. Okay. There's Edmund Gates. So yeah, maybe that maybe that leads the way for paved the way for Andrew Luck. I don't know. Maybe there's some things that and he's like, all right. So we'll see. There's Demarco Murray. For the Cowboys, Asa with the boys. There's Jimmy Smith. Mike Pouncey autograph for the Dolphins. That'll be for Josh Hoffman. They receive really. I mean, I can't imagine Gronk staying staying too much longer. I don't think he's gonna. Yeah, I don't think he'd stay past Brady. I mean, unless he just has some sort of physical revival. In his body, and he thinks he can, he can move on, and keep playing without Brady. Then maybe, maybe he will. I don't know. TBD. Mark Ingram, Ryan Williams will be your dual relic. That'll be a randomizer at the end of the break. Let's keep plugging away here. Let's. I'm gonna set that off just off camera right there, so I remember to randomize it. Remember this? Remember Clear Vision? I thought this was an interesting idea. I like the packaging, that's for sure. I wish they bring this back. I feel like they just needed a few tweaks, a few tweaks to the. Uh, few tweaks to the just configuration 
They could have made it really solid, I thought, but. But they did it for a couple of years, and I don't think it came back. What year is this? this is the James Winston year? Yeah, this is the, this is 2015. I think they did it a couple years, and then they and then they said, eh. <laughs> There's Michael Floyd, big jumbo relic there for Travis and the Cardinals. Didn't look like it was numbered, Travis. Yeah, not numbered. That's number Jay Ajay, 99. John Riggins as a Jet. Rookie Nelson Aguilar. I remember the autographs weren't. There wasn't like an auto a box, which I hope that they would do. These were pretty cool though. They they'd introduced these. Mike Evans Clarity. That's for Sean. Alright. There was a blast from the past. Clear vision. All right, what else? Let's dig back here to some old Topps Finest going back to 2011. Where does where does this guy go? That guy's that guy's still out there. Yeah, I think Clear Vision was the answer was Panini's answer to high tech, but then they never really followed through with it, and it looked cool. I thought there was some potential there. But yeah, Sean's thinking maybe they're doing some similar designs. Or they're doing these designs as inserts, so maybe it'll come back. I don't know. These are the days when they gave you, gave you the checklist right there. That's what you can get. Someone's got to give Cam Newton a chance, right? Who could you if you if, if I could tell you, hey, Cam Newton 100% healthy. Who's taking Cam Newton? If somehow you could do a medical, Cam Newton, 100% healthy, what team wants him? I mean, Patriots need a QB. Are they rolling with, maybe they're rolling with Jared Sidham. Buffalo doesn't need one. Jets, no. Dolphins, I don't know. Maybe the Dolphins figure we don't take a quarterback this draft, improve everything else. Raven, Ravens, no, Ravens, no. Steelers probably won't go for it. Browns, no. Bengals, no. Texans, no. Titans, no. Colts, no. Jacks? Chiefs, no. Broncos, no. Raiders, no. Chargers, maybe. Uh, well, they might want to just go draft. Eagles, no. Cowboys, no. Giants, no. Redskins, no. Packers. Redskins? See, the Ron Rivera reunited with Cam Noon? Probably not. Packers, no. Vikings, no. B Bears? Lions? Saints, no. Falcons, no. Buccaneers, no. Panthers, no. Niners, no. Seahawks, no. Rams, no. Cardinals, no. Yeah, the Chargers guys here in the chat, j Dog, are, are emphatic about about not wanting him and him not having a chance to go there. So maybe not. You think he's a diva, says D Porter? Is he? I don't know. I don't I don't I don't follow Cam Newton that closely. I didn't I haven't really felt that. There is Taiwan Jones. Remember him. 336 out of 589. Stephen Case's XFL. Well, that's done. I mean, unless. Should we buy the XFL? Jaspies buy the XFL, ladies and gentlemen. 
They filed for bankruptcy. They're looking to sell. Should we buy the XFL? <laughs> we don't have XFL money. EO will take him as a backup in Buffalo. I don't know if he'd, he'd said that. I mean, that'd probably make logical sense. I don't know. Maybe spend a year as a – he's not going to do that. If I'm, a, if I'm a former MVP starting quarterback, you know, I'm not settling for a backup job. You know who should – who might settle for – who should settle for a backup job? Maybe Jameis Winston should. You don't think Jameis Winston could benefit from, from sitting behind a veteran quarterback and, you know, maybe marinating for a season before he – he goes out into the into the world again. There's Daniel Thomas to 130. Is it a coincidence that Cam and James are both out right now and have passed sexual assault charges? Yes. Because <laughs> there's probably a lot of NFL players with sexual assault charges that do have jobs right now. All right, uh, let's grab Illusions back. That's hiding back here. No one's going to take Newton as a starter. That's the trouble. I think he's in a. I think you're right. I think he's in a weird no man's land. If I could get a hundred percent Cam Newton, I might give give him a shot. But he also wants that. Hey, I'm a former starting quarterback, former MVP. Money. He wants that money too. And I don't know if he's going to get that. So who knows? Well. Ride or die with a L.A. Wildcats, Steve Porter. I mean, I I I spent my entire life rooting for the L.A. Wildcats. I, w I was born with a a a Wildcat in my in my hand, a baby Wildcat in my hand. You know, my first words, Darren Porter, were claws up. Now, those were my first words before mom, before dad. Yep, I had a wildcat foam finger in the crib. Was born and raised LA Wildcats. I mean, that's my team. That's my team. Ooh, that's yeah, that's a good question. I don't know. Probably not. supposed to eat, drink a smoothie when a paper straw like disintegrates the straw this just doesn't that doesn't work good question about the uh, oh yeah good question about the rookie photo shoot i feel like um i feel like i don't know what they're going to do with it i feel like they'll move it to a central location or Maybe they'll get. I don't know. They'll probably have to be creative with how they, how they do. Because a lot of these designs, for the rookies anyway, a lot of these designs, right, are from photographs from the from the photo shoot. Obviously, some sets will use live, will use like in-game action. But a lot of this stuff, especially like the portrait poses and even some of these action stuff, are all derived from that rookie photo shoot that happens in LA about a week or so after the draft. So they're going to have to get creative with it. You know, they may have to just, they may take college footage, you know, maybe, maybe do some more of that. There's Deshaun Hamilton going to the Broncos. Yeah. Maybe more selfies, you know, that could be an interesting thing. Maybe you see, yeah, maybe more artist canvas type cards. Jeff Peace is saying maybe there's, it's going to be more artsy sort of stuff. So I could see that happening. You know, until they can get live shots, you know what I mean? And they'll, they'll probably be more aggressive about about getting live photography at games early on. 
Here's Arden Key, so they can include that into designs. Alright, so there, oh, there's that encased card in here, which is an autograph, Derwin James, rookie Derwin James. 71 out of 100. And the redemption is Jaleel Scott, first impressions autograph memorabilia. Ravens, I think. Yeah, Baltimore Ravens, that'll be for Dom. Slide these over here. All right, let's keep rolling. Let's keep rolling. Let's go old again. Let's go back to back in time to uh, 2010. Tops Platinum Football. I think the other thing that happens at that rookie premiere, which is here in LA every year, is that they, they do have like, I think they have like rookie orientations here, and they have, you know, and then a lot of the, you know, first round players take a lot of business meetings and stuff, because, you know, a lot of agencies are here, and it's just a big central location where they can all kind of gather together before they disperse into the, to the NFL, the wilds of the NFL. So, uh, yes, sorry, that was Chargers. Did I not say Chargers? Yes, that's you. Derwin James, great corner for the uh, San Diego, for the Los Angeles Chargers. That is, goes to Charles Young. Nick really cleaned out the vaults this, Jeff. Well, I'll tell you what, Jeff. We've barely made a dent into the vault. <laughs> It looks like the uh, looks like the oh safety. Sorry, is he a safety? Really? I thought he played corner. A defensive back for the uh, for the Los Angeles Football Chargers. I feel like that derailed the Chargers last year. It was like Derwin James got hurt and then was out for a while. And then that kind of unsettled the defense, and then it all just kind of there's more injuries and the Gordon and Melvin Gordon holdout, and didn't quite all click last year. I'm surprised the Chargers are really sticking with with Terod Taylor. Next box. Good luck. I feel like there was a card. Yeah, there was. Terod Taylor's better than Derek Carr? Maybe. Marginally. I don't know. No, I'd say I'd say Derek Carr is probably a little bit better than Terod Taylor. Before you start, Sean, no, I don't need to see 
the next level stats that you're I know you're just typing up pro football reference right now. I don't need to see that. I'm watching enough football. There's Anthony Dixon. I think the Chargers will probably go for you don't think they'll go for we got a couple staunch Chargers fans here and Adam and Sean. You don't think they're gonna go for a quarterback? In the first round? The so would David Carr what? The NFL network analyst? Taylor Price to five ninety nine. That'll be for the Patriots. That's for Stephen K. I think I could bring this list right up front right here. I don't remember Taylor Price. Remember Taylor Price, Stephen K. You don't, Adam doesn't want a quarterback, but you believe there's a chance it happens. I mean, I, Terrell Taylor's okay, but I just can't, can't shake the feeling that it's going to be like the Colts and Jacoby Brissett. You know, where they do a year of him, sometimes he looks good, sometimes he doesn't, and you know, and then you're just like, oh, yeah, well, no surprise. Chargers went with a quarterback in the draft the following year in 2021. There's Jonathan Crompton. You guys remember Jonathan Crompton? Kyle B., you predict Breeze will retire in the next one to two years. I think he only has a two-year contract, so I wouldn't be surprised. A hotter take would be if you say he retires after this year in the middle of his two-year deal. Doesn't he have a – he has a TV deal with someone, I feel like, already. I feel like he has one foot out the door already. He's had a pretty great career. There's Armonte Edwards to 800. There's rookie Gronk right there. Just came back to the league. Patriot Stephen K. Rookie Rob Gronkowski. Sorry, I forgot that he went to Arizona. I bet he had a lot of fun there. All right, let's get some of the heavier base stuff out of the way. What about this old Bowman Chrome? Remember this? Bam! 2014 Bowman Chrome football. Kind of miss that Bowman Chrome football. Uh, Stephen K might be lagging a little bit. He hasn't seen the Gronk yet. He's just talking about Taylor Price. He'll catch up. The, the Gronk will definitely be more than that Taylor Price auto. Easily. All right, this, this is what old Bowman Chrome football used to look like, kids. Jadavion Clown. And now Clown has got a bruised shoulder. You guys remember that press conference? And Jadavion Clowney was at was he at was he at Gamecock? I think he was a South Carolina Gamecock, and I forget who the coach. I always forget that. I don't watch enough college stuff. I forget who the coach is. Spurrier. I don't know. One of those Southern coaches with with an excellent accent. This is when Clowney. Was like, was he going to play? Was he not? He was just that incredible, and they were just like, you know, and he didn't know who was going to play. Was it Spurrier, Sam Spurrier saying? Steve Spurrier? Yeah. There's a great press conference. He's, he was just so, he was in a he was in the middle of a press scrum, I think he was. And he's just so frustrated. It's like, well, now clown has got a bruised shoulder. And he said, no, it's just like, he was so frustrated. I was like, oh, poor coach. It's all right, coach. Now Clowney's got a bruised shoulder. Doesn't know he's gonna play or not. Uh, 
All right. Oh, okay, and Stephen K is caught up. Nice, welcome. All right. Here's Mike, rookie Mike Evans right here to 199 for the Buccaneers, Sean. A lot, of, a lot of blast from the past here. Jeremy Hill. Trent Richardson. Everyone loved him. Then we got Taj Boyd. Oh, remember Taj Boyd to 271. So much Taj Boyd in these old sets. Blake Bortles. Remember how hot Blake Bortles was? I remember the Blake Bortles Super Fractor out of, out of this went for... Many thousands of dollars. Blake Bortles. Blake Bortles stuff was hot. Blake Bortles Super Fractor must have gone for $20,000 maybe back in the day. Monty Ball. To fit. I think he's the... Mike, I think he's the backup for Goff here in L.A. Yep, Darren Porter, Bishop Sankey. There's John Brown. Although John Brown still plays. He's, he's effective. That'll be for Travis. Zach Mettenberger, right. Z-Meth. Remember he autographed his... His autographs were Z, and then it looked like M-E-T-H. And wouldn't really finish it off, so it looked like... Looked like uh, Z-Meth. 003 out of 199, there's Lorenzo Taliaferro. There's uh, Topps Chrome, the Johnny Manziel year. One autograph per box, 2014 edition. It's old Matt Patricia with the pencil in his ear. When are the Lions going to get... When are you guys going to get... Lions fans, when are you guys getting rid of Matt Patricia? The guy with a pencil in his ear, but laminated play cards in his hands. I feel like there was an interview that he did. I forgot what it was for. There were maybe some some TV special or NFL Network special or something like that, where they interviewed him, and he had that GD pencil in his ear for that interview as well. It's like, come on, come on, Matt, get that pencil out of there. All right, uh, Daniel Posey. Sound is muted, so you uh, Well, I'm in the middle of a break, Daniel. <laughs> Can someone tell him, yes, we will check our email. I don't check the email, though. But I'm, I'm sure someone will see it. Is it a wax pencil? You think he's getting that Ticonderoga money? Mike Tower thinks he's getting that Ticonderoga money. You think he's going you think he's going number two? Two B. Wait, notorious PIT? The is the email or check your spam folder. It might have ended up there. If it's not in your spam folder, then I then maybe. I don't know. Sorry. I'll be able to check all that in a in an hour or so. I'm almost I think we're, this break's going a little bit faster than I thought. Did not end up in your spam folder? Then shoot us an email, Notorious Pit, jaspyscasebreaks at gmail.com. Now, we're, we, we've been working with, uh, with a smaller staff because of the COVID craziness, so your email responses may not be as quick, but 
Remind me again, Daniel, after the, at the end of this break. And then I'll make sure we received it, at least. All right, thanks, you guys. Show spots available, but you bought them? Hmm. Notorious Pit for a different order? Yeah, shoot us in Okay, maybe this is a not just an isolated incident. Hang on. Yes, trend. She is. We're, we're, we're shipping a boatload of stuff at the moment, so. But we've been trying to stagger hours as much as possible. So not everyone's here at the same time. You think it'd be humorous if they had a uh, effective insert set, Mike Tower eh? saying? Like a he's all right. Insert set instead of like, you know, <laughs> instead of like bazooka bonkers. Insert set. It'll just be like he's okay. There's Muhammad Wilkerson. He was I. Right. The he's I right insert set. Be pretty funny. Uh, there's a uh, fantasy focus, Adrian Peterson to 99. I remember, I feel like these were somewhat short printed, so they had some extra value. Uh, might be worth looking up. I ever remember CJ Fedorovich? Maybe Panini took a lot of photos at the, uh, this is tops I know, but maybe, maybe in anticipation of the rookie premiere not maybe being delayed. Maybe they took, maybe they went to the combine. That still happened, right? Took a bunch of pictures at the combine. There's rookie Odell Beckham Jr. Jarvis Landry, little mini guy. Calvin Johnson, three out of 99, sepia, 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 sepia. Justin Tuck, Blue Wave, Raiders, and Keen Nowen. All right, we are chugging along. Oh, let's get that elite out of the way. That 20 elite was buried back there. 2011 elite was buried back there. Jeff P saying they could use yearbook photos. That'd be pretty funny. Now introducing 2020 Panini Yearbook Football, where we take your favorite draft picks and show you their, their yearbook photos from their senior year of high school. Why would you risk this Heineken commercial is confusing. Why would you risk being in the car with what appears to be a beer? 
But doesn't that just invite trouble? Trouble from the the authorities. Um, sh yes, Theo. I, I personally won't be. But I'm sure, sure someone will. Joke, what about a fourth, fifth round rookie card set? Like the Ginter tear up cards where, where you cut it. If you don't cut it open, there's like a mini of another six or seven. Rookie. You may make it. Okay, I mean, there's a lot of details there that I can't process right now while I'm opening these things up, but I I do want more uh, rip cards and then more rip cards inside a rip card. I'd like to see more box toppers that you can rip to find another card inside that you can rip. They can find another card that you can rip. I would love to see that. Um, how many sets at the start of the year you still use college photos? A good handful. I don't think you see, at least going by last year, I feel like the first set with with players in their pro uniforms didn't happen until maybe maybe a little little bit before the season started. So there's at least a handful of of like Prism Draft and those draft type products. Well, they will where they will use that. So there, yeah, there's, so there's a number of college sets. There's Down and Distance, Sydney Rice. It's $2.99. Remember Roy Hulu Jr.? Wow, they use a stamp redemption card? I forgot about that. <laughs> I'm not going to take the time now that Panini hates redemptions now. We'll look it up. I've got, got too many boxes to do. All right, we got David Gerard, 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 going to uh, Bradley and the Jags, Cra Craftsman Relic. All right, no problem, Pitt. Thanks for thanks for letting us know. Is any anyone else having that a similar issue? Because I see a lot of orders coming in, so a lot of people must have. Ordered, but not. Okay. Well, can you let Nick know about it? He said he'll. Yeah. Talk. Talk to. Right. Hang on a second. I'm going to pause the video really quick. Or no. Mute the video really quick.
All right, so TJ Leonard, you're experiencing the same thing. All right. Well, here's what's going to happen. I know there, that you've purchased spots, and if it looks like they're still available, here's what we're going to do. Um, it'll be the first 10, let's say if it's a 10 spot break, it'll be the first 10 people um, who place their orders who will have those first 10 spots. Anyone else who accidentally buys those extra spots will just be refunded. So if you're worried about getting spots, then we'll try to, oh, but if you're not receiving order confirmations, that means we're probably not receiving order confirmations. Well, we'll have to sort this out. Nick Jaspi is on. Uh, he's on with our content management service. He's on with Shopify right now, so he'll we'll figure it out. Looks like Jason is dealing with the same thing on his end too. So, sorry, folks. We'll figure we'll figure it out the best way possible. Um. There's no Inception Transcendent. Transcendent Hall of Fame drops uh, later this week. As for your other questions, those are uh, those are personal, private. Yeah, thank you, Daniel, for forwarding that too. Yeah, we'll we'll look into it, and we'll try to figure it out. Good news is, I guess, if no one can place orders, then maybe your spots shouldn't be shouldn't be snagged. Oh, the Inception break to get a spot into Transcendent is that is it sold out? Well, whenever I get to uh, finish this break and then go through orders, and then we'll see. Oh, it is sold out. Okay. So whenever I'm done with this, and then I go, and then whenever we figure out that order issue, then we'll figure it out. <laughs> exactly, Rob. Yeah. Whenever it happens, it'll happen. Eventually, at some point today. It'll happen. Daniel Jones autograph. Nice, out of absolute. Why are there no signed Antonio Brown cards, Rob? Only because he doesn't, didn't feel like it. There's Antonio Brown at 25, though. A lot of times, after your first year... The, I'm not sure exactly how the uh, points. And there's a uh, team Tams and Keen Butler, Larry Fitzgerald for the for Travis. Um, I think after your rookie, I don't know exactly how this works, but I think after your rookie year, there, your obligation to sign cards is kind of goes away. There's Jared Stidham. So after that. And Evan Ingram, another giant. Nice, couple of great giants for, for Kessler. After that, they're not obligated to sign. I think part of your rookie contract is that you have to sign, at least for your first year. Then after that, you don't have to. At least that's how it goes in recent years. So, Panini can approach Antonio Brown and say, hey, you want to sign autographs for this? And I think one of two things happened. Antonio Brown says yes or no. If yes, Antonio Brown will be like, okay. Him and his agent will be like, I want this much money for every autograph I sign. And then Panini goes, mm, no. Or they'll go, yes. 
and then it ends up in sets. Or not. But yeah, that's a pretty common question. We're like, hey, why, why isn't this guy, why isn't so-and-so in this, in such and such set? Either party can say like, no. Whether it's manufacturer saying you charge too much or to get this deal done, it costs too much and it's not worth it. Or the, or a lot of times, it's usually the player. The player usually is like, mm, no. <laughs> I don't feel like signing a thousand cards for... Set X, Y, Z. In a broad sense, that's how it kind of goes. All right, Curtis Martin to 199, Sam Bradford. We got Brashad Perryman. Remember him? Two color triple relic and autograph. Tops triple threads football. That's something I miss a lot. Ravens, Dom. Yeah, that transcendent should be a lot of fun. And there's David Johnson to 99, rookie David Johnson. Cardinals, that'll be for Travis. We've got Melvin Gordon, rookie jersey and autograph. 38 out of 50. That'll be for Charles and the Bolts. Earl Thomas, 6 out of 27. It says... Uh, what is that? Oh, 12th, 12th, I see it. 12th man. Couldn't see it for a second. Seahawks goes to William. And yes, I'm looking forward to that transcendent. Ooh, Mean Joe Green. 19 out of 25. Charles Young with the Steelers. That's a spot that he won. Joe Green, according to the A Football Life episode that I watched when that first premiered a while back, Joe, mean Joe Green, not that mean. Mean on the field. Mean on, mean on the field, but, but off the field, pretty, pretty, uh, pretty, pretty nice. So, All right, so a quick update on the site, Nick, saying that uh, that even though it says spots left two or whatever in, in the break, that whatever break that was in question, when, when others try to check out, they shouldn't be able to. There'll be like an error message that will pop. So your spots should be should be safe. It's just those confirmations and the site itself is not uploading proper or updating properly. Chicken smoothies, Joe. Yeah, I got a little smoothie going on. Ah. Here. It's hot in here. Gotta cool off with that smoothie. All right, so so yeah. So that's the update we have. I'll, I'll let you know if we have any other updates. Yeah, so Nick's on the phone with Shopify at the moment. He'll be able to sort all that out. 
Uh, Teddy, Brooklyn will be broken whenever that sells out. That's not sold out yet. If you look at the site carefully, you'll see why. All right, there's Kyler Murray, rookie. There's Julian Edelman to 149. Patrick Mahomes. Are we offering to buy invites? <laughs> Is that what we said? That's news to me. Sammy Watkins to 75. Correct, Rob. Yes. If there's only 50 cases this year, only, yeah, only one invite per case, only... Um, 50 party invites for the for the general public. Points, damn it. Hate points. So we'll so points will randomize as one lot at the end of the break. AJ Brown, White Prism 35. Seventy-five, and Deontay Johnson to twenty-five. Two-color jersey and autograph. Invite should be double what they were last year. Teddy, I can assure you that it's not sold out. Just double-check the website and look. You'll see why. we're going to end here. Oh, we're going to, so we're, I'm going to do these three right here and then we'll end with Immaculate and the last box, I guess, Impeccable. Let's do this Supreme. Oh, Adam and Sean are no fun. We're, we have to, we have to, we're, we're, we're teaching people to look at the website, not just have that information fed to them. Adam and Sean. <laughs> There's a Bart Star. Yeah, we got to do those number blocks, Teddy. Those player number blocks. There's Bart Star to 75. And then that will officially sell out Brooklyn. Sam Braff. Although, if the site's not updating, maybe it is. Maybe those are sold out, and I just don't know it yet. There's Drew Brees, 429. And we've got rookie jersey auto, Von Miller, 43 out of 50, jersey and autograph. Nice. Von Miller. Von Miller doesn't know, doesn't know how he... Uh, I got COVID. I swear I didn't go out anywhere. He says. That'll go to Ron Wester, who got the Denver Broncos in the trade. All right, Obsidian. And we're gonna start closing out with the with the cool stuff here. Yeah, me too. Top Supreme. Uh, Tops Triple Threads Football. Those are the two. Tops football sets that I think I missed the most. There's a Sean Watson one. No, I appreciate that, Sean. Thank you. Debo Samuel to 25. Rookie Eruption, two-color relic. That'll be for Joel and the Niners. We got Juwan Winfrey. Broncos autograph. 35 out of 50, another Bronco. We've got Jalen Ferguson, Ravens, autograph for Dom. 
And another Raven jersey and autograph, this time Miles Boykin for Dom. 11 out of 50. That's a cheap shot, Sean. That's not nice. 1 out of 10, Baker Mayfield. And Miles Garrett, 3 out of 5, Miles Garrett. Is, is that our first woo-woo of this break? I think so, because I haven't touched this bell all day. 3 out of 5. All aboard the Big Head Express to the Browns. That will be Daniel Hayes. Woo-woo! There you go, Daniel. All right. Let's get limited, limited. We're going to get limited. Let's get into limited. It depends on the, the time of day, Darren Porter, the time of week. What break I'm in the middle of. How much you've annoyed me already that day. <laughs> A lot of factors involved. You never know. I'm mercurial, Darren Porter. Keep you on your toes. One day, I may just ban Sean. Just out of the blue, no reaction. I could do that too. And he'll just disappear. Or not. Don't know. Don't know. There's DK Metcalf. 9 out of 23. That's a Seahawk for William. Nice rookie patch and autograph. And we've got another train whistle. Four out of five, Big Gilbert Brown. How many Joes do you think you could go into that jersey? Like if I just, if I got that Gilbert Brown jersey, how many Joes do you think you can fit inside there? I think three. I say three, two and a half to three Joes in that jersey. That goes to Bradley and the Packers. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo ten out of ten, Andy Dalton reveals a Damian Harris relic, forty one out of ninety nine. All right. I'm gonna do the recap video in a separate video. That might be kind of a longer video. I don't know, we'll see. Wait, do you guys like recaps? I think people like recaps in the same video, right? Not a separate video, so you can just scroll to the end. I'll do it in the same video. Porterhouse thinks, thinks Gilbert Brown's jerseys can fit three Joes and a boss man with room to spare. Gilbert Brown's a big dude. And I'll bet he still runs a. Uh, I'll bet he still runs a forty-yard dash faster than me. That's the scary part. That's the terrifying part. All right, ten out of twenty, Chris Carson. He was 340 pounds. Uh, he ran a 5440. That's terrifying to see a man of that stature run that fast. 7 out of 10, Kike Kuti. Nice triple relic for the Texans. That'll be for the X line. How many how many plays at running back could I play in the NFL full speed? before I'm carted off the field. How many plays do you think I can run? How many carries? There's Miles Gaskin, Dolphins. I say one. I say two. I feel like I can get two carries. Dolphins, that'll be for Josh Hoffman. 
There's Drew Locke. Nice. That's for Ron and the Broncos. Got that in a trade. William says zero. Like, the, I'll just fumble the ball out of my hand. I wouldn't, I wouldn't even lodge an, an official carry. Sean and Rob think too. J Dog will give me two. Thanks. And we've got a ooh rookie logo. That's a big patch, right? Seven out of nine. S Seattle is that the A and T of Seattle, and then H of Hawks. Think so? That's pretty cool. That'll go to uh, William. Seattle Seahawks. And the last one here is 7 out of 14. Benny Snell Jr. Snell, yeah. That'll be for the Steelers. That's going to go to Charles. There you go. Sean, Sean realizes how stubborn I can be. Yeah. One would teach me a lesson. One carry will teach me a lesson. And then I think it was an anomaly. And then I'd be like, yeah, I think I could do a second carry. And then I do the second carry. And then I'd be, uh, I'd be in the blue tent for the rest of the game. I'd be in the hospital. I, mean, I think I may. Do you think I'd go to the hospital? Ah, maybe. maybe. I may be able to just get tackled and, and crumple to the ground. You know, without serious injury. But the chance of injury is pretty high. You think Mor <laughs> William says morgue? I hope not. I'd retire from the side. I'd retire before I even get off the field. I'd be like, I'm done. All right, last box, ladies and gentlemen, then some randomizers. We got two out of eight, Drew Brees. And then a recap. We got Tom Brady to 75. Is this, whoa, I didn't realize this is first off the line. Impeccable. Oh, this must be loaded then. There's Mark Gass now, 25. How many shifts would I make in an NHL game? I'm a decent skater. I think I could, I could survive a shift. I wouldn't do much. I'd, be, I'd just skate around the ice. You required me to actually get into the game. If then, then I don't know. I'd be, I'd be no use to the team. It'd be like a power play, for, a EO for the other team, EO with the Jets. But I could skate around. Eleven out of forty, and I could skate around. What zero minutes, zero shifts? Come on. As long as they don't make me play. All right, guys, I could pretend to play. There's Nick T with the uh, Panthers. Just skate around, players. There's Dylan Mitchell, 21 out of 49. That'll go to the Vikings, Sean. More suited for figure skating? Probably. You think my my triple toe loop wouldn't, wouldn't, uh, wouldn't last too long in the NHL? There's TJ Watt. You haven't seen my, my Lutzes, Jeff. Or my Axles. There's TJ Watt for the... Uh, Steelers. That'll be for Charles Young. Impressions autograph. We got Lawrence Taylor. Impressions autograph for the Giants. 13 out of 25. That's not too bad. Giants had a pretty good break. There you go, Kessler. All right. And the redemption is going to be, bam, Gary Jennings Jr. for the Seahawks. In this set, I think he is a Seahawk, yes. 
That'll go to Seattle. That'll be for um, William and the Seahawks. The movie with Will Ferrell as a figure skater, Blades of Glory. All right, ladies and gentlemen, there's your break. Thanks everyone for getting in. Appreciate it. We got a little bit of little immaculate tin. We got a little bit of housekeeping to do here. All right, so here's what we're gonna do with the points, if you don't mind. Um, there are three giveaways that we're gonna do. The fourth spot is gonna be for the points. Winner take all the points. A decent amount of points too. It'll just make it a little bit easier. And then we'll do the. Um, and then we'll do the. Uh, what are we gonna do? Oh, and then the recap. All right. Yes, I did not forget this time, Charles. Get these set up here. We've got from Sterling, we had the Mark Ingram Saints, Ryan Williams Cardinals. We got the uh, matching numbers, ATL, Cincinnati. And then everyone has a shot at the other stuff. All right, for the list, for the randomizer where I'm randomizing everyone's names, remember, we've got some nice giveaways going on right here. Name on the well the fifth oh, sorry the fifth name down will get the points fourth name will get the Henry Ruggs helmet third name will get the CD Lamb third spot second spot will get the Tua and uh, top spot will get the Joe Burrow all right so all of those will be the same dice roll five and a five ten times for each list. After 10th and final time, goes to the Saints. That goes to JC and the Saints. So you'll get this old dual relic right here. Yeah, the schedule actually, uh, I, this went actually a little bit quicker than I thought. So, yeah, dinner and the two martinis, nah, maybe a little bit later. I think something else sold out before that NT football, Darren. I think the, I think that Inception may have sold out before then. I thought there was something else that was sold out before then. Maybe not. Maybe it is NT after that inception. Oh, maybe cup filled first? Yeah, cup might have to go. So, I don't know. I'll have to go through orders and we'll figure it out. And I have to make sure that the website is not melting down. But let's get this done first. Five and a five. Five, six. And 10th and final time. Good luck. After 10 times, stays with Atlanta. Goes to Brooks with the Falcons. Little thing here. All right, so for the next randomizer, that's the Joe Burrow spot. That's the Tua spot. Third is C.D. Lamb. That's the C.D. spot. That's the Rug spot. These are the uh, points right there. All right, so once again, five to five, ten times. Good luck to everybody that was in this break. Thank you very much for getting in. Uh, whether you won spots or whether you bought spots straight up, really appreciate it. Thanks to everyone who got in on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Once again, five to five, ten times. Top five get something. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
and 10th and final time. Good luck, everybody. Thanks again. Top five. Five. William Fulmer, points going your way. Sean, Travis, William, and JC. Congrats to you. And thanks, everyone else, for getting in. And here's how it all shakes out. So JC with the Joe Burrow uh, helmet, I believe. William Punt with the Tua helmet. All right, yeah. Helmet, helmet, jersey, helmet. Helmet, helmet, jersey, helmet. And William with the point. So William Punt with the Tua. Travis with the CD Lamb jersey. Sean with the rug, the Henry Ruggs the third. Uh, helmet, William with the points. And congrats to you guys again. And thanks again for getting in. Recap. So now that we've got that out of the way... And we'll, our team will top load all of these and give our team an extra day or so. Um, good finish here, too. Give our team an extra day or so to get all this top loaded and sorted and shipped out. So I appreciate everybody's patience on that. Remember, the United States Postal Service in general have been, uh, you know, they've, they've, they've been slammed. So just give them a little bit of, a little bit of leeway if you can. You know, they... Vaughn Miller at Rookie Patch Auto. So they've been pretty slammed, so give them a little bit of a break. I think a lot of our shipments out there in the world have been delayed by one business day, maybe even seven business days for some people. So just bear with them. Uh, we're looking at, we'll look up this, uh, this throwback threads car from 2011 even though you probably can't redeem it. A couple more stacks to go here. You're not going to get scans either from the United States Postal Service. They're not going to be scanning those things. Once you receive a um, a tracking number from us it's out the door so it's on its way so even if you're not getting updates just kind of hang tight and bear with us for a little bit and the post service so I appreciate everyone's patience on that it's annoying but such are the times Shipping in the time of COVID. There's a great book called Love in the Time of Cholera, I think was a great bit of fiction. But I think they made the movie and it turned out to be terrible. <laughs> I think that's what I remember. Book good, movie terrible. All right, and we started off with that old Contenders box right there, and that C.J. Anderson was a pretty nice star too. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That was Jaspi's 27 box pre-NFL draft football mixer, which a with a bunch of fun giveaways. So thanks everyone for getting in. We really appreciate it. I'm Joe for JaspiesCaseBreaks.com, and I will break more of this stuff with you next time. Bye bye.